Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite hair products. This is just to help you guys make more, to make better decisions when you're going out and uh, looking for ways to take care of your hair. For those of you that don't know, I also used to be a swimmer since I was like 14 years old. I've been in the pool every day, twice a day, and the chlorine really damaged my hair. I didn't really take very good care of it. I had a catastrophe about two years ago and had to cut my hair very short. I had a huge dreadlock up here on this side and it was actually from using Burt's Bees shampoo. I was experimenting, you know, with different shampoos and conditioners and trying to go more natural. So I tried Burt's Bees and it actually made my hair extremely hard and matted. I went straight to my hairdresser. They couldn't do anything about it except chop it out. These are the products that I have used and loved. The very first thing that I have that I'm going to show you is my everyday shampoo and conditioner. It's um, by Organics, it's called Coconut Milk, and it doesn't have any sulfates, any harsh products. You can use this every single day, not a problem. It's, it's gentle enough to do that. I highly recommend for um, anyone that needs to shampoo their hair a lot more often than usual. The conditioner is also just as good, but this is a really great softener and it's a really great, great detangler as well. So I absolutely love Organics Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. I highly, highly recommend both of them. It smells so good. I think from Walmart they're like six dollars. This is my heat protector serum that I use and I absolutely love. I've tried Tresemme sprays. For some reason the hair sprays um, really didn't work for my hair. They just really made my, my hair hard and difficult to manage and manipulate. But I think serums are really good for people with um, curly hair and dry hair. It's called Frizz Ease Thermal Protection Hair Serum. I feel like it moisturizes my hair. I don't put anything else in my hair. Whenever I straighten my hair, you don't want to put any kind of oils in your hair. Heat and oil is just gonna burn your hair. And don't use high heat. On days when I want to give my hair a lot of nourishment. I will use coconut oil. What you want to do is look for the USDA mark right there. Extra virgin, coconut oil, cold pressed and unrefined. That's what you want to look for when you're shopping for coconut oil. It has a dry finish. So unlike olive oil, if you were to put olive oil on your skin or on your hair, it kind of sits on top whereas coconut oil actually absorbs into your hair. In the past I used to I used to relax my hair and color my hair and you're not supposed to do that. Either you color your hair and you don't ever relax your hair or you relax your hair and you don't ever color your hair because both of them together is just way too much damage. Afoji. I don't know if you've heard of it, but basically um, it's a protein treatment I think this was like around seven seven dollars from Sally's Beauty Supply. Once you shampoo your hair, you pour this in and saturate it really well, and then you wait for it to dry. You don't manipulate your hair while you're doing this because it makes your hair go rock hard. You make it wet and you carefully rinse it rinse it out, and then you use its G balancing moisturizer. This stuff I worship. It detangles so well. You leave it in for two minutes and wash it out and your hair just feels so much more soft and manageable. $6.29 at Sally's Beauty Supply. The other product I've been using is also by Afog. Here's a picture of what it is. I forgot what it's called. And I just spray this in my hair after I shower whenever I'm gonna wear my hair naturally curly. So the new product is this Ion Repair Solutions Reconstructor. I've been using this twice a week for the last two weeks. Compared to the Afro-G line, this is a lot easier to use. It's a lot more mess-free. The only problem that I have with this particular Ion product is that it makes my hair feel hard. After I use that Ion Reconstructor, I've had to use my favorite, favorite detangler in the world. It's called Soft and Beautiful, just for me, two-in-one conditioning detangler. Sorry, it's so bright. Us girls with crazy curly hair, we need to tame our hair, and this does exactly that, so highly recommend this. It's really for kids, 
but I feel like that's the best stuff to use because it's all so much more gentle. It's so much easier to comb your hair after you spray this stuff in. If you've used any of the products that I mentioned here, leave a comment to let everyone know um, what your experience was like with them. The more opinions, the better, just so everyone can read and, um, you know, make their own informed decision. <sighs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.